Hi, Karen here again. Uh, I know I promised you a video after uh, about a week after I had my uh, permanent spinal cord stimulator put in, but I haven't gotten around to it until now. It's been about three months, exactly 12 weeks since I had the permanent spinal cord stimulator from Boston Scientific placed in my uh, back. And I just want to go over some of the things uh, that I've been through. Just know that these are my experiences. It might help you to understand a little more, but just know that not everybody is the same. Everybody's pain is different. Everyone's situation is a little different. And then everyone's spinal cord stimulator placement will be different. Uh, so I had it, um, the permanent uh, stimulator placed uh, August 18th this is 2017 it is now um, actually it's Veterans Day it's November 11th happy Veterans Day to all you veterans out there and thank you for your service um, so it's been like three almost three months really uh, a lot of the things that I'm telling you just make sure you realize these are my experiences so after the surgery now, um, I think, I'm sure in the last few videos, I went through what happened during the surgery. So if you want more of that, go back to those videos, like the first few days after the surgery. One thing I will tell you is that whenever I've had surgery in the past, usually they'll say any surgery, it's usually six to eight weeks um, to get back on your feet, really. And any surgery I've had in the past two or three weeks, I'm good, uh, you know. But this one, when they say six to eight weeks, it's, it's six to eight weeks. It took me a full eight weeks to really recover. I don't know if because I'm a little older. Um, I don't know if it's because I've been through other back surgeries in the past. Um, and maybe it just all sort of takes a toll on you. And, you know, as you do age, you know, it does take a little bit longer to recover. But the first couple of weeks, I'd say the first two weeks were really rough. I was in a lot of pain. Um, I, I, I guess because I was in so much pain from the surgery, I felt like that it wasn't working. And then I also had a lot of pain. And I just want to reiterate this one more time. If you're having surgery and you're going to be on pain medication, if you're already on pain medication, you'll know this. I've been on pain medication for over three years. And then of course, after the surgery, you take even a little bit more because you're in more pain from the surgery. Please, please, please. I, I don't like to talk about it. It's not the, the most wonderful of subjects, but constipation. That was one of my biggest problems, recovering. Now normally while I'm on a pain medication, I take Seneca every day. But then if I am a little constipated, maybe I haven't gone a day or two, I'll take a Ducalax, I'll take a stool softener, something else. Do not hesitate. If you haven't gone to the bathroom, uh, like on your second day after surgery, call your doctor if you don't know what to take. Or if you're used to taking something, take something. Because I ended up being in a really bad situation where I had to uh, eventually resorted to an enema which is not pleasant and it made all my pain even worse so if that is something uh, you, you you go through you know about or you don't talk to your doctor about um, laxatives or stool softeners whatever do not make it go past three days because you will be in a whole lot of pain and actually I was not only in so much pain I was really scared at that point anyway that aside, the surgery, they placed my spinal cord stimulator, the, um, the mechanism, the actual stimulator, on my left side. It's like right above my pants waist uh, on the left side. And I want to tell you, since the surgery, I, I had lost about 15 pounds um, just from being in a lot of pain and not wanting to eat and, and just... So I did lose some weight after the surgery. And after the surgery, where they place it, it's very swollen. 
And then as you go along, it gets less and less. And now you, I could really, you can, you can feel it. I don't want to think, make you think it's really buried somewhere in your body. It's right under the skin. They basically do. They make a little, they make an incision about this long and they put it in this pocket and they sew it up. And you can feel it. Please believe me, if you are going to be really grossed out by that or really upset by that, you might want to think it twice because you can feel it. Um, not so much anymore, but early on, I actually did feel from the stimulator, the, the wires that went to the spinal cord and where the placement, I actually had the paddle put in. Sometimes you get leads and sometimes you get a paddle. It depends on what you need it for, what company you go with. I had a paddle from Boston Scientific. It's like the most advanced, um, uh, thing in the stimulator right now. It's like the most advanced. So it gives you the best coverage. I can kind of feel it in my spine. Now I don't want to say, oh, it hurts. I just, every once in a while, if I move a certain way, I can honestly tell you I could feel a tiny little tug from going from the paddle down the cords, the wires, and to the stimulator. But after a while, like the first three to four weeks, it was really, I felt it a lot, it hurt. I, I was like, at one point I said, I, I wanna rip this thing out. So just give it patience. It's very important, just wait it out. Eventually, now I'm on three months, 95% of the time, I don't even know it's there. Every once in a while, like I said, you might feel a tug, you might move your hand or, or brush by where it is and you can feel it. But 95% of the time, you don't even know it's there. So if you're in those first few weeks after wondering if that's going to be the way it's going to be forever, it's not. It will, just like anything else, you get used to it. And you will. You will get very used to it. Now let's talk about how it's working. Some days I feel like it's the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. Like one day uh, a couple of weeks ago, now I couldn't really stand up very long before. I could stand up for maybe five minutes and then I was in so much pain I, I don't have to sit down. A couple of weeks ago, I got up, I went downstairs, I, I made a quiche, I made meatball, I was cooking all like for hours. Now, not on my feet constantly, but you know, when you're cooking, you're up a lot. And I was absolutely fine. I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe I haven't been able to do this in years. It was really amazing. And then the next two to three days, my body was aching from doing that. Just because your body is not used to doing so much. But I want to tell you, some days I still wake up and I feel like, it doesn't help at all. So it's a, you know, every day is different. Some days it's fantastic. I could go to a store, I could walk around. And then another day I feel like, you know, it could be the weather or whatever. It could be other things too. Like I have a problem with my, one of my knees. I have a lot of arthritis. So all of those other things also, you know, uh, contribute to different pains and things you have. Um, but all in all, it really is working, which is really great. Um, I would say, now this is kind of interesting. Yes, it's working. I can walk better. I could stand longer. Um, I'm not in as much pain, but I want to tell you, still, there's never a moment where I feel no pain. So if you're used to having pain 24 seven for, for me, it was at least over three, four years, the pain is still there. It's just down a lower level and I'm just able to do a lot 